The South Asia's debt-ridden nation of Sri Lanka has turned to the International Monetary Fund for a bailout package. Finance Minister Ali Sabri will be heading to Washington later today to hold talks with the global monetary body. The negotiations for an immediate bailout have come amidst the foreign exchange dirt that Sri Lanka is facing, which has made Sri Lanka incapable of financing even the most essential of imports that it needs, such as basic food and fuel. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka, remember, has suspended foreign debt payments and has diverted the dwindling foreign reserves to importing essentials. Sri Lanka needs anywhere from 3 to $4 billion this year to pull itself out of an unprecedented economic crisis. The talks are scheduled to begin in Washington on the 18th of April. If the delegation were to succeed in making a decent case before the IMF, then the emergency relief fund can be expected within weeks. Reciting the economic crisis in the country and also rising external funding pressures, multiple rating agencies have downgraded Sri Lanka's sovereign ratings. Fitch, for instance, has downgraded Sri Lanka's foreign currency rating. The credit rating agency has said that the move reflects its view that a sovereign default process has already begun. Standard & Poor's Global has said in a statement that Sri Lanka's debt restructuring process is likely to be very complicated and could take several months to be completed. As the government is scrambling to secure external assistance, analysts at JP Morgan have underlined political instability as the key risk. The IMF's mission chief for Sri Lanka, Masahiro Nozaki, has reported saying that the IMF supports the country's plans to engage with creditors. We assess Sri Lanka's debt to be unsustainable and that the country's fiscal efforts and macroeconomic policy adjustments alone could not restore debt stability in the country. The IMF also extended help to Sri Lanka the last time in 2016. The loan was capped at about $1.5 billion and the program was prematurely terminated after disbursing about $1.3 billion. Sri Lanka has also turned to countries including China and India for support amidst a weak foreign reserves position. The nation is also in talks with the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank for more support. Now remember, it's not just the common citizens, but even prominent personalities who are joining the protest. Sri Lanka's ex-kipper, Sanat Jaisuri, has joined the student-led demonstration outside the Sri Lankan President's Secretariat. The Sri Lanka's World Cup winning cricket captain Arjuna Ranatunga and fellow skip, ex-skipper Sanat Jaisuri joined the street protests, demanding for the President, Gautabaya Rajapakse, to step down due to the very poor management of the country's economy. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.